Tonight we are hearing from several school officials in the east about their school systems safety protocols following yesterday's deadly stabbing at a high school in Raleigh. Police say one student was killed in the stabbing, which all stemmed from a fight involving several students. The tragedy has made several school systems take a look at their current safety measures to see if they are up to standard. Jalen Holloway spoke to a high school principal about catching weapons brought into their school, and he's live now in Greene County with more. Jalen. Well, Dave, metal detectors were introduced in Greene County schools at the beginning of this current school year, but Greene Central High School principal Patrick Green says that there was no particular case or incident that prompted the school's decision to put them in place at the time. However, he says it is now more apparent than ever that they are needed after yesterday's deadly stabbing at Southeast Raleigh High School. When walking into Greene Central High School, there's no denying that student safety is at the forefront. You also have to be prepared for the worst. These new metal detectors were implemented at each school in the Greene County school system just before the 2023-2024 school year began. Ah. Greene Central High School principal Patrick Green says the goal is to detect any weapons such as guns or knives that may be brought into the school. So far this year, he says they've only found pepper spray, which is a positive sign. If they know you're doing it with fidelity, and they're, as they're coming in every morning from multiple entrances, they're a deterrent so that they're not bringing those things into school. Um, whereas before they might have seen it as um, an opportunity to walk in with it. Um, now they're not. A deadly stabbing that happened at Southeast Raleigh High School Monday has made all school systems reevaluate their safety protocols. Pitt County School says they've had 43 reports of weapons since the current school year started. However, they expressed their safety diligence in a statement that reads, quote, the safety and well-being of our students is and will always remain a top priority for Pitt County Schools. While we are providing school resource officer coverage on all of our campuses and recently implemented an advanced weapons detection system at our high, middle, and K-8 through schools, identifying ways to further enhance our security efforts is a daily responsibility for all of us, end quote. Green believes every school system should ensure that their safety measures are up to par because Eastern Carolina saw a deadly stabbing of its own last year at Northside Jacksonville High School. God forbid that the, the worst thing happens one day um, and being able to treat all things like they're serious. Um, and that does make people nervous sometimes when you do treat it as serious, but I would rather people be nervous and know that I was paying attention and was ready to jump on it than to say, oh, they're, they're just kidding and that doesn't matter. I spoke with officials at Onslow County Schools who say that they still don't have metal detectors in place despite last year's deadly stabbing. Now, they could not provide me with any information in regards to any recent weapon detections at their schools this year, but Martin County Schools did. They said that they have not found any weapons at their schools this year so far. In Greene County, Jalen Holloway, WI10 News. All right, thanks, Jalen. And police say a juvenile is in custody for the Southeast Raleigh High School stabbing. Wake County Schools Superintendent said during a press conference that their schools do not have metal detectors.